Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is William. I'm actually an Australian native English speaker. Um, I, my mother was born in the Netherlands in Friesland um, and uh, look, I've been learning Dutch now for about 44 days and I wish I'd known some of these things that I um, have now discovered back when I was starting. It would make my journey a lot easier. Uh, and one of those things that tripped me up pretty early was the uses of variants of verbs um, based on the different pronoun that you're using. So one of the things that um, I found was that um, uh, I thought they were just different words meaning exactly the same thing. Um, and it wasn't until I realized that it was a variant of the verb used against a different pronoun that actually made sense. So I wanted to try and help you, uh, if you're learning Dutch, uh, understand this rule because it will make your journey a lot easier. So one of the things that I um, wanted to first of all explain was the different pronouns that are used in the Dutch language. So there are a number of different pronouns. So first of all, let's talk about the single subject pronouns, which are um, uh, you know talking about a particular subject um, or individual. Uh, so here we've got singular um, subjects. So the eyes, the you, the, um, the he, the she. Um, so in Dutch, they have very much the same equivalents. So for I, it's ik. For you, there is a various, a very various different ways that you can say this. This one is je, which is most common, je, um, and u, which is used in a more formal setting. Um, he, which is he. Uh, she, which is they, and ze. This is the one that tripped me up because it's also used for another pronoun, which we'll talk about next slide. So um, the pronouns for plurals or a group of people um, uh, or, or object uh, or subject um, uh, as follows. So it, we, you, and they in English would be it, he, or het, we, they or the, you, Yuli or u in the formal setting, and they is they and ze. That's the one that threw me out. So this is where I would look at a sentence and I wouldn't know if the running or the walking or the talking was being done by a girl, as in a she, or a group of people, as in a they, um, until I learnt this rule. So let's have a look at the rule in practice. So here we have the present tense version of a walking. Um, so I am walking, you are walking, he, she or it is walking, uh, we are walking, you are walking and they are walking. So when we have a look at this, if you're talking about yourself, ik, then you use the verb on its own. So in this particular case, to walk, it's loop. So ik loop. When you're talking about um, an individual single person that's not yourself, so as in a you, she, he, or it, um, then you would use looped. Um, and you would put a T on the end, so looped. Um, and when you're talking about um, the plural, the group of people, uh, whether that's a they, a, a yuli, or a, a they, you would put loper and they would put an en on the end. Now in English, this trips me up as well because in English that would be lopen, um, uh, but the pronunciation in Dutch is lopa. Um, so when now I see a sentence that actually has lopa, I know that they is a they. And when I see a sentence that has looped, I know that the they that we're talking about is a she. And that made it so much easier to understand uh, who I was talking about and how to construct a sentence. So with the sentence, I'm going to say uh, an example one here, which is I am walking and you are walking too. So this would um, translate to ik loop and je loopt ook. Now my pronunciation is not the greatest after 44 days, but you get the idea um, that if I'd known which way to use this, I wouldn't have made so many mistakes in confusing which loop, looped, looper 
to actually put into a sentence. So I hope this helps people. Um, and if you do like this video, you want to see more of these types of videos, please like and subscribe. Um, and if you wanted to leave some comments about how my pronunciation was or correct me if I'm making some slight variances, I'd love to hear the feedback. Um, but yeah, thank you very much and uh, enjoy my videos in the future. Thank you.